All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a section here. And I, you can see that I have my two elevations here, and I've lined them up vertically. I've lined up the top of the window here, because that's something that's going to be constant. You can see there, I've lined that up. And then just to be sure, I've also lined up the deck to make sure that they're lined up vertically. Now, the section, I'm going to actually cut it uh, latitudinally down the house this way. And the next step I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw in lines wherever I am cutting through a wall. So I'm going to start right here. So I'm cutting through this wall. Put up my my lines up here wherever I'm cutting walls. So I'm cutting this wall here, uh, this wall right here I'm cutting. So I'm going to put lines there also. This walls I'm cutting through. And then I'm not cutting through any walls in here. I'm going to cut through this wall here. Like that. And then one thing I also want to point out is I, I put in the ground plane right here. This represents the ground where we're cutting the ground. And the way I figured that out was I basically took the line. This line right here represents my section cut. You can see I'm cutting through the side of the building right here. So this particular view over here is the view looking this way at the house. So I'm basically cutting it right here. And then what I did there is I said, okay, that's where we're cutting the ground. So that's my that's the ground. That's where my slice is at. So that's going to be level the ground. And that's where I put this thick yellow line right there. <clears throat> so that's going to be that's going to be my ground plane. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in the rest of my regulating lines, which are these lines that go up and down. And I'm going to pause it while I do that. All right, so I went ahead and I've added all my uh, regulating lines here that represent the walls that I'm cutting through. So now I know where I'm cutting through my walls. You can see that I'm showing them being cut through all the way here to the exterior. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this elevation over. Now, one thing, this is a log home, and they actually dimension to the center of the logs. So in this case, I'm going to use the center of the log to line it up instead of the edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick a line right in between these two. Right like that. So that line splits the difference there. That's the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and drag my elevation over there. I'm going to pick the middle of this, this log here to line it up. And I'm going to snap to perpendicular like that. And now you can see that the wall lines up nicely there. I'm going to double check over here. Uh, this wall lines up. This is another wall I'm cutting right here. So now you can see where I'm cutting. Now the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is come in here and delete all of this because this is in the foreground and it's in front of my section cut. So I'm not going to be seeing any of this. So you can see as this house goes back, the ground actually slopes up. The ground slope in the back is higher, and the ground slope in the front is lower. So you'll see where we're cutting through, actually. Um, the exterior ground plane is up there, but on the interior, we're going to want to keep the same floor level. So in this case, I'm going to say that the top of this door right here, let's, let's take a measurement off of this door, and let's say that from there, From there down to there. Okay, at six foot seven. So that means it's a six foot eight door, so we'll say that's gonna be eighty inches. So we'll just go down like that. So that's gonna be my finished floor in my basement, which means that this wall right here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim my ground plane there. Because that's the outside wall, that's the outside wall. It's gonna be in here like this. So basically this this line right here. represents uh, my grade my ground plane and I'm just gonna put this line in here just just for reference and I'm gonna pretty it up a little bit later so right now this just gives me an idea as I'm boxing this out I'm gonna change the width of that line let's go ahead and make it three inches so a little bit wider so we can see a little bit better there we go it's starting to take shape I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this hatching here so I'm gonna clean up this plan and delete the stuff we don't need to see and then what I'll next up thing I'll start doing is I'm going to draw in, I will have to put in a foundation wall right here and a stem wall. And then we're going to draw the framing and you'll see this, uh, this section start to take shape before your eyes. 
So I'm going to go and pause this while I clean up the rest of this elevation by I'm just going to leave the outline of this building and delete all this stuff that we don't that we're not going to see right here. All right, so I cleaned up the plan as you see here, and because we're cutting right down the center here, um, this we're cutting actually through the shed roof, so I'm going to bring this down just so I can trim off the eave right here because that's not going to be that's not going to be seen there. I'll put this hatch back in on the um, the roof rafter is going to disappear too because it's just going to be a um, I'm just going to be seeing this here. So, it's going to be seeing the shed roof coming in like that. <clears throat> I have my, my log wall over here on this side. Uh, the next thing is this is the outline of my f of my, my ground plane basically. So, I know I'm going to have a four inch slab right here. So, I'm going to draw that line right there. I'm going to offset this four inches. So that's going to be my slab. And then I have an 8 inch concrete stem wall coming up the side. So I'm going to offset this for my stem wall. Same thing over here. Offset that. And let's see, I'm also going to have, if I look over here at this plan, you know, I have, I'm cutting through an ICF wall. This is actually insulated. Um, it doesn't show up right there, but it will show up here on the foundation plan right here at insulated um, concrete form, insulating concrete form wall, and so I'm cutting through that. So uh, I can just measure the thickness right here. So right there, it's a 10 inch wall, and I think it sits two inches off the face of the wall, because those are logs coming through there. So basically what we're saying there is that two inches back from this wall, Like that, we're going to have a 10 inch wide ICF wall. So I'm going to do offset that 10 inches like this. Okay, now this thing's starting to take shape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line right here for my grade slope. My grade plane, sorry, delete that. So that's, my, that's my grade there. I'm going to go ahead and add it over here onto the other side as well get rid of this thicker line here now that's out of the way get rid of this all right so that's just a general view there um, this concrete stem wall is gonna basically um, it's gonna come down a little bit we're gonna have a footing under here and I don't know what size the footings are because uh, the engineer hasn't taken a look at it yet so I'm just gonna guesstimate and put in a footing here like that And I'm gonna go ahead and Drag this over here, and this is going to be another footing right here. Might as well get that thing centered up I'm using the midpoint right here, like that. Same thing over here. Put the, use the midpoint. Oh. See, midpoint right there. All right, so that's going to be my concrete stem wall. And I'm going to need a uh, minimum 8 inches clear from the grade up to the bottom of my first course. So obviously I'm going to have to delete one of these logs here. And um, the height of the stem wall is going to vary. I'm just going to say it comes up to right about there. Although actually I'm using, I'm actually going to be um, framing uh, the lower floor down here with, uh, with wood frame. This is just going to be wood frame down here. Basically, we're looking at a. If I look at my my basement plan down here, it's gonna be a framed wall right through there, and a crawl space. So, in that case, I'm going to just draw a little rectangle here for my concrete wall. I'm gonna draw a rectangle here for the slab. A concrete slab. I'll put this bad boy in here if I can get it to snap. Get it to snap here. So I want to make sure I got my my endpoint on, my perpendicular on. So let's see. Oh, I don't want to get my intersection on there. So I'll go back to settings. I'll do intersection. It's already snapped. 
So it should be snapping to this point right there, but it's not. So fine, I'll just snap right there. Then I'll have to stretch. I'm going to move it up here like that and stretch it back down. It's not really liking my snaps today. I'm going to drag this one down here. Snap on there. There we go. Now I can get rid of this. Now I already have. I can get rid of this. Oh, can't get rid of that yet. Still got to put in my concrete stem wall right here. So I'm going to delete another course right here. I'll delete one of these guys. And I'm going to say that that's the top of this stem wall. And I'm going to draw a rectangle there. And put this down. Try that again. So my rectangle. Okay, it's just not liking my rectangles today, and I do not know why. It's not liking my snaps, I think. There we go. Did that and delete that. All right. So now I'm getting. <laughs> Get my foundation in and then another thing that I notice here is that I'm also cutting through this area over here if I drag if I basically copy this over copy my section cut line through this one I can see that I'm also cutting through the ICF and there's a big hefty footing right there as well as right there so I'm going to need to show that and um, that wall is basically coming in like I said I'm going to pause the video and draw that in here all right, so I'm going to finish up this section because I'm pretty sure you can figure it out from here. Uh, like I said, I was going to drag this. Uh, the stem wall needs to come higher right here on this side. Oops, so I don't want to grab the ground plane. So let me let me get rid of this. I can see that a little bit better. And then um, I'm going to put a two by six right there. So basically, it's going to go. Grab this two by six, and we're going to put it. It's, it goes basically two inches back from the edge of this log here. So I'm going to move it back two inches, and it should line up like that, except I think it's actually two inches back from the face like that. So I'm going to pull this bad boy back out there like that, and then I'm going to move it back two inches. All right, so basically, now on second thought, I think I think it's supposed to be two inches back from that point there. You know, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to find out about that. Um, for now, though, we're going to draw it just like this. And we're gonna, I'm going to draw, like I said, I need to stretch my concrete stem wall up there. Like this. And there we go. And then that's my plate. And um, one thing I'm noticing is that I have the stem wall in the wrong location. It needs to come back. It needs to be two inches off of the face of that also. Like that. And then we're going to do it like this. So there we go. We got one side good to go. Move that over, keep it kind of centered up there. And then put my ground plane in there. And then of course I'm going to slope my ground plane about at least a 5% slope. Away from my away from my building. And um, and that side's done. Now I just need to put in the floor framing and I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side and start to get this section all built up. 